And welcome back. Well, if you have been wondering how you could stay on top of your yard as we approach the fall or what you can do to battle the rain, we have some answers. That's right. And now in the studio with us is Susan Cardin from Buds and Blossoms here in Dothan to give us those tips. Good morning to you and thank you so much Good for morning. being here. Glad to be here always. Yes. So you've been on the show. Probably, is this the fourth time now? With you, yeah. Yes. Good <laughs> friend of the show to yeah. say the least. <laughs> so obviously, as we're turning seasons here soon in about a month's time, what can people do to kind of keep their yard in shape as the fall comes around? Well, fall is a great time to plant um, for a couple of different reasons. And you're going to be out enjoying the cooler weather, hopefully, and football season. So it's a good time to, to spruce it up. Um, if you plant in the fall, there's not a lot of growth upwardly on your plants, but they can. there's a lot going on under the ground. So they develop healthy root systems. So you get your plants and trees in the ground through the winter. And then spring, you have healthy, happy plants. All right, because it's an incubation, so to speak. Okay. Yep. All right. So as far as July, with so much rain amounts, what are some of the ways to combat if your yard is just super saturated and overhydrated? Yeah, um, I think a lot of people have been making irrigation system adjustments this summer because we're not used to this much rain. And in most cases, that would suffice just adjusting that irrigation frequency down or just shutting the system off depending on our rainfall. Um, in some cases, people have really, really wet areas in their yard. Those might require a little bit more substantial Financial, um, action like bringing in extra soil or dirt to kind of increase the level of the ground or um, installing drain systems, French drains, things like that to move that water out of that space and all awesome. that kind of so thing we do. For me, you say irrigation. I think I know what that is, but if I went and tried to do it myself, <laughs> probably not. How does Buds and Blossoms kind of help anyone who needs help with their yard? So irrigation is sprinkler systems, but, oh, they, but, okay. the, but the easy kind that you just hit a button and you don't have to like pull <laughs> hoses around your yard right. and stuff. So we make life simple. Um, so obviously we do full scale landscaping and we also do irrigation systems with that too. So okay, make life easier. Gotcha. So for those folks who like me will kill a plant in a minute, mm -hmm. it's bad. <laughs> really, really bad. <laughs> what are some tips to help people, you know, try to have a little bit of a green thumb, so to speak? Um, well, pick low maintenance plants, first mm -hmm. of all, and we can help <laughs> uh, identify those for you. Come up to the nursery and see us, and we can point out some that, that don't require a lot of care and love that are pretty hard to kill. You're not the only one. So, okay. so yeah. we have lots of suggestions awesome. for that. Awesome. Well, obviously, you brought some greenery with you here today. This is, I'm going to try to say right, Florida sure. Sunshine Anise? No? Anise or Anise, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little about this plant. And so why. this is a beautiful evergreen shrub that obviously has this bright um, green color, stays like this year round. Um, really happy about four to five feet tall. Great in shady areas in your landscape. So around the edge of your yard, if you have some shade, a little bit of, of shade canopy, these are great for a border and they also have an amazing fragrance. They smell a little bit like licorice. Yeah, so I smell mm. it yeah. sitting right so, here. It's nice. Don't mind me just coming over over there. <laughs> I love right. licorice. Uh-huh. Do you? This is a plant for you. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay, and if people want to get some help about, you know, just their landscaping or, you know, just where to get started, I would love to have a beautiful garden of, you know, flowers and shrubs. Where can they go to get that advice? We are on 431 between Dothan and Headland, just past the um, Botanical Gardens. So come see us. We've got Facebook, Instagram. Go visit our website or call the nursery, and we'll be glad to help in any way. All right, and of course, as always, we will have most of this information on our website as well with a link to Buds awesome. and Blossoms Nursery .com or .org. I forget. .com. .com. Mm -hmm. So once again, Ms. Carter, thank you for joining our thank show. We're well, sure we're going to have you on once again because it's always fun to talk about yeah. oh. irrigation. Yes. I need to learn more about <laughs> irrigation. So thank you. We'll get you cliff notes. All, All right. right. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that.